It is currently, I think, like 7. I just woke up. I am in my pajamas and my robe. Like, I'm really just having a morning. I think I'm actually going to do a full loops face mask because my skin. Here we go. Today, we are filming a single life vlog um, in my single era, if you will. I've been in my single era for like a year now, so it's been a bit. Um, later, I'm going on a solo date, and it just got me thinking like how much I love being single and the freedom that comes with it. It is so much fun. You can do whatever you want to do. Obviously, a lot of these things are things you can do when you're in a relationship as well. It's just like nice to not have to think about anyone else, you know? I go on like so many girls trips. Again, I know there's going to be comments saying you can do this when you're in a relationship, but like whatever, you have more freedom when you're single, okay? Um, I go on so many girls trips. I have a girls trip tomorrow. I have my perfect morning routine always. I have so much freedom to do whatever I want to do. Solo dates, I mean, these are all things that, oh, oh my god, I look kind of crazy. And obviously these are things that I will probably still do when I'm in a relationship, but like, let me live, okay? You just have more time. Honestly though, had I not taken time to be single, I wouldn't have realized so many things about myself in the words of Kylie Jenner. I recorded an entire podcast episode on living your best single life, and now today, we're gonna do that. If you're going through a breakup, I have so many good podcasts on breakups that I'll have on the screen as well as like linked below. Just trust me. But anyways, today we are living our best single life, okay? I love these loops face masks, it's so good. The number one thing that I think is a problem when you're single, people are always waiting to like start their lives at a certain point or like, I feel like people are always like waiting for something to start doing things or living their lives a certain way or waiting to have a partner to do things. And like that's stupid, do them by yourself. Create the life that you wanna live now, you know? Especially when you're single, I feel like that's like the foundation of everything. Also, by the way, if y'all are new here, subscribe. I do a lot of fun videos, you won't wanna miss out. When you're single, your life isn't on hold. When I was originally going through like a big breakup, I all of a sudden was afraid of being alone and I was dreading being alone and now I just can't get enough of it. And I love my life so much more this way, which is not this way. Like I'm sure I'll love being with a partner at some point, but I'm just saying I was scared of being alone and now it is like my favorite thing to do. So we're having a nice solo day. I do think I'll see Lauren later to get my nails done. Um, I'm leaving for another girl's trip tomorrow. We're going to Nantucket. So I gotta pack for that. Like we just, we're in our best single era. So anyways, I have to do morning pages. It's the best thing ever. Finish my morning pages. I also like live alone. Oh God. Oh, well that normally doesn't happen. Okay, well whatever. You want some of those stuff, you know? I also live alone and I work from home, so I spend a lot of time by myself and alone, which has become my favorite thing to do, honestly. Um, I could do an entire video too on living alone and like, I don't know, I think these kind of go together a little bit, but I can't do an entire video on living alone. I just like made my house a home, like the place that I truly want to live in. I'm constantly redoing it. And I still, I'm like, I don't know what I want. Um, like I like my living room, so it's, it's good enough at this point. But I just am constantly making my life like the one that I want to be living. And it is so much fun. I feel like there's like a pipeline of like girls who had designs or like long term series of girls growing up and just like into college. And then all of a sudden post grad, you're like, no. You know? Oh my god, I'm gonna go get ready because my morning routine, which I can also do another video on, um, starts. So I've gotta hit the trail, go on my nice walk, listen to a podcast, and then I'm gonna Pilates after, so that is the plan. All right, y'all, this is my outfit for the trail. My set is Year of Ours. I have a code, I think it's code Kinsey, and you get either 10 or 20% off. I'll try to look for this video, but um, Year of Ours is my favorite active wear, that instead active, and I live in it. This is just like the cutest set ever, right? And then I have my new Brooks walking shoes that they sent over, if you guys saw all the TikToks. Um, but yeah, anyways, now we're gonna go on a nice walk 
with my coffee. Um, normally my favorite days for podcasts are Thursdays, not just because mine comes out, obviously, um, but because World's First Podcast comes out and that's like my favorite one to listen to. But this week, so many good ones hit. The day of the week where you're like, this is my best podcast day. I normally have that on Thursdays, but I'm telling you right now, like there's so many good ones. Not getting even not fat about the keep, the keep, I won't say keep Davidson, but the keep breakup. What else? Call her daddy this week. Like, I mean, I've like been listening to it a lot. You know, it's like been awesome. Been a good podcast week, if you will. So anyways, look at this print. I don't know if you can see it. Like, it's just like so cute, guys. Here I am, ready to go walk. It's 8 a.m. I am not really feeling it today. Um, but normally, this is my favorite part of my day. And once I get out and about, honestly, once I get coffee, I'll be excited. But I just like love my mornings alone. I'm really like creative and productive in the mornings. I'm just really tired today. But I always get so many good ideas when I'm walking on the trail and so much done. So like once I get my coffee, you know, I'll get better. And then I'm going to Pilates after, which I also don't really feel like doing but hey we're here all right y'all back home my lunch has been delivered at like 11 a.m so good i need to shower and get ready really really fast got a lot of like work done just randomly in my car been ordering these wraps because i've been only in town for like a couple days at a time my priority has not been grocery shopping which i need to get back on track because i really miss cooking but i got this wrap and then i've also been loving um, the sweet potato fries like i love sweet potato fries i accidentally <laughs> I forgot that I already put purple shampoo in my hair last time I washed it. So now my hair is gonna be like silvery, which is very unfortunate, um, seeing as how I go on a trip tomorrow. Anyways, I changed. I'm wearing the Okine set. It's wet now because of my hair. This is the Ryan set. It is the best thing ever. I like actually live in it. It's so comfortable. You can wear it in the summer and you can wear, I mean, you can literally wear it anytime, but it feels like you're wearing pajamas and it's just so cute. You can dress it up, dress it down. Like it is my favorite thing that I have in my closet. I started with some outfits for Nantucket. I just threw some things out that I grabbed from my closet last night just to plan out some outfits. I'm actually going to go into Reformation because I've never had a Reformation dress and I feel like if I like something or maybe even a skirt, I'll pick it up for the trip. Just to see. Um, also, I picked up two new suits from Arrow. The one that I wore, I don't even know where I wore it. Um, I think it's pink or orange. I'm like totally blanking, but wore it recently. And then I also got this one. Um, it's really cute. It's good for girls with like larger chests. I should have gone up a size in this top though. And I think it's too late to return it or exchange it. So that's unfortunate. It might just be like a tanning one, but it's really cute. It actually even looks really cute with my top. But anyways, I'm like getting things together. Um, I need to grab my Kindle because I'm going to go shopping for a second. And then I'm also going to go on my solo artist date, which we'll talk about in a second. I'm on my way to Reformation to look. I would even love to find a skirt. I'm not bringing cowboy boots this trip. I will be wearing slides maybe sneakers. I just feel like Nantucket is so chill. I'm not even bringing, uh, maybe I'll pair, bring one pair of heels in case for like dinner. Yeah, I'll bring a pair of heels. Um, but my vibe is mainly like slides. Like the shoes I'm wearing right now, I don't know. I feel like it's gonna be a really casual weekend. Like we are all so like just burnt out and exhausted right now. I think maybe not burnt out. We're all just like tired and we've been traveling a lot. So it's gonna be like a really chill, relaxing girls weekend. Awesome. I've been having so many ideas today. I was thinking just now how at the beginning of the year, one of the biggest things on my vision board was like strengthening my female friendships, which has been, I think the theme of my entire year of 2022, even just like 24th and 25th year. And I have like the best girlfriends, whether it's in Dallas or obviously like YouTube friends, most of them live in New York now. But I feel like I just have like really solid groups of friends and it hasn't always been that way. I mean, YouTube obviously aside and like that friend group, cause we've been friends for like 10 years now at this point, but um, just like wherever I lived, whether it was, I guess like in LA, I just didn't have that like solid group of people and sometimes people say like groups of friends are toxic and it's not good and whatever but like there is something to be said about having a really good group of friends and just being really grateful for it because like we really do so much together and it's made my life so much better. I'm definitely in like one of the better places I've ever been, if not the best place I've ever been. And so much of it comes from my female friendships. It's a really long winded thing of saying, I want to do a podcast um, on like girls trips, like how to make the girls trip get out of the group chat. With my friends in Dallas, I'm the planner. I would say with YouTube friends, I'm not like, 
because we all like live near each other it's normally their idea and then they're doing stuff like whatever i'm definitely not as much of a planner in that setting sorry guys um with my dallas friends it's always me making the plan so i don't know i think that would be like a fun episode let me know what you guys think um i'm on my way now so i might kind of need a coffee i'm so tired the heat just takes it out of you and then when you do a heated workout oh my god like i am just so tired the weirdest thing is I've actually never been in this Reformation. Y'all are in Dallas. I'm, it's on Henderson. Like, why have I never gone? I've always wanted to go into Keepsake and Mod Shop, so I'm just gonna like stop in really quick. I got stuff I didn't need at Keepsake for the trip, but it was really cute. By the way, the shiner of front left like two weeks ago, and then I have my Reformation bag. I just got the cutest coasters. Like, look at these. They don't even really match my house. I'm like super picky with stuff like this too, but I like the pop of pink, and I like that they're hard because then my dogs can't ruin them, so super cute. Guys, this is kind of giving fall. Like, you see some leaves there. Also, it's a bit of a rainy day, and I'm in Bishop Arts, which is, by the way, the absolute coolest neighborhood in Dallas. Like, there's nothing like it, but none of my friends live here, so. It's drizzling. I'm in such a good mood. The second there is any amount of rain, even if it's two drops, I'm just happy. Anyways, I'm about to go on my weekly solo date. I've shared this in the vlogs, but I recently started... Um, the Artist Way, which is like a 12-week program, I guess. You read this book. It's Julia Cameron. You do morning pages. That's actually where morning pages came from. So uh, as soon as you wake up in the morning, you journal for three pages straight. So I do that every day, which I was already doing that a little bit before. Um, I've just been like really consistent with it. And then you take yourself on one solo artist date a week. There's a chapter to read every single week. The whole idea of it is like recovering your creative self, but honestly, I feel like it's really good for it in your 20s with self-discovery as well. Uh, and I think it's great for promoting like independence, bettering your relationship with yourself. Like, I don't know, I really am loving it so far. So this week I'm going to Wild Detectives and I've been wanting to go here for so long. It's like a bookstore venue. I think I'm gonna get like absolutely annihilated because I'm bringing a Kindle to a bookstore actually really embarrassing but I wanted to come here um, and check it out because I feel like this would be my favorite place ever and it's like the perfect day to do so so I'm gonna do this for probably the next like two hours I think and then get going and off my day I actually have a, a call with a personal trainer at 3 30 today and i kind of am just like shopping around for a trainer i'm dabbling i just i want to start weight training and like i need a trainer for that like i need to learn how to do it and to have the correct form so that's why i want a trainer anyways let's get going <laughs> guys i'm back from the wild detective that was the coolest place i've ever been to it is quite literally a bookstore and a bar in one and a venue like i actually couldn't ask for anything more my dream actual dream is to start hosting like a quarterly dallas book club and have it there like do like some sort of charity involved like it would just be so cool it was the coolest place ever it was so calming it's also raining out so it was like cozy it felt like fall i mean it was a dream anyways i'm back home for the next hour i'm gonna give y'all a little haul so i got just a candle a volcano candle from keepsake and then these coasters that i already showed you guys that i thought were really cute that i'll keep 
downstairs. They're cute and fun, you know? Um, and then from Reformation, I will say I bought one of these dresses without looking at the price tag, but um, you know, it is what it is. So I got this sweater because I figured I would wear um, a sweater a lot in Nantucket and also like this just seems like one I will live in and keep forever. I really like just like investing in quality pieces. So love this. The next thing I got is this top, which I also thought would be really cute for Nantucket. Like look at how cute that is. I love that. This with jeans and just like little heels or slides or something. So chic or even like the black uh, Dallas Oak kind of pants. Like very, very chic. So I love this. I got this dress because obviously I loved the color and I just felt like it was a classic dress that I can wear time and time again, dress up, wear it casually. Like it's just really cute and I feel like I'll keep it forever. Um, and the last thing, this is the dress that I have. I don't know why, like I looked at all the price tags, but like, I don't know, honestly, somehow I didn't see this one. I don't know how, um, and I thought it was something else. So I will say it's uh, pricier than I expected. But I liked this dress because it's really hard for me to find dresses that like my boobs aren't like super out in. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Obviously, I like do not care at all if anyone has their boobs out or not. Just for like me, sometimes I just feel like uncomfortable. And I feel like it takes away sometimes from like my outfit because it like looks like I'm trying. And like if I was trying, I would be happy with that. You know what I mean? Like then I wouldn't be complaining. But it like makes me uncomfortable and it like doesn't fully like a lot of the like other dresses like it doesn't fully cover my boobs so it's it's not like this flattering i don't know how to describe it this is like one of the only dresses that has like actually covered my boobs and like felt nice and it's just like a really nice one that again i'll keep forever especially after that price tag so changing up my outfits now for nantucket um i have like an hour until my nail appointment so i'm gonna do some more outfit planning make a list check it twice you know um and get going but i like literally feel like i'm in pajamas it's so cozy and i'm so happy i found that place that's the other cool thing about the artist way is that like i just keep going like now i'm going to like all new places like it's great so anyways if y'all are in dallas definitely check it out i need to like get this situated listening to taylor swift it's raining i'm about to get my nails done i'm really living feels amazing that you can't even see the colors on this camera but just trust me It's raining, well it's actually stopped. It might be a little wet in my car, we don't know yet. <laughs> we'll see. Here are my nails. They're brighter than I thought, like before, she put the final touch on them. They were even brighter. Okay, also, whoa, my camera right now, it's getting foggy from the humidity. All right, let's see. Back story, the set, see, it's dripping a little bit. The sealant on my window needs to be fixed. And I forgot about it because we've been in a drought for like uh, 80 days, so uh, it could be worse. Oh, this is just like perfect. We're gonna listen to Taylor Swift and go to Sonic. It's fall. It is fall. All right, y'all, I'm back and I am packing for a like four day trip, basically. Thursday to Sunday, not even fully four days, but I just need my options. I'm gonna throw the rest in tomorrow morning. I'm charging everything. I need to send over a bunch of footage to my editor. Um, I'm just like getting things situated. Like I need to bring these in my carry-on and of course my pages for morning pages. Oh my God, do I have to do morning pages at like 3 a.m. when I wake up? There's like no way. I'll do it like on a plane or something. I don't know, that's not gonna work. But anyways, I'm wearing my Skims pajamas. Oh, and I gave myself a blowout really quickly so that um, my hair will just be ready for tomorrow and I won't have to worry about it because we're going like straight from the airport to doing stuff. Just gotta say, another big positive of my single life era has been the amount of girls trips that I've gone on and it's just been a really fun time, especially in your 20s. Like, I think growing in your independence and your confidence, creating like the life that you wanna live, that kind of stuff. Girls trips and just like traveling is like monumental for me. So anyways, I'm like exhausted and I've been gone a lot and I'm excited after, I'll be home for two weeks after this, but it does get like really overwhelming but i'm i don't know i'm just like at this point in my life i will sacrifice financially and also like energy wise not that like going to stand is bad thing like is a hard thing to do that's not what i'm talking about i'm just like being traveling all the time for work um at this point in my life i don't know I'm, like i feel like this is like a priority so 
anyways hope you guys liked this vlog um i love y'all so much i'm obviously vlogging nantucket so subscribe follow me on tiktok and instagram and everything because you guys see that stuff first love you guys so much and i will see you in my next vlog bye i was at the strip club Shit. last week <laughs> yeah I so love that he yeah. was performing uh, no, I was after a show. But he did dedicate Dick Down in Dallas to me in the strip club. So uh, <laughs> thank you very much. Really happened. Um, 